This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Prius. Let's lead the way. How do you handle stress? Um, I pretend it doesn't exist and then I go to a bar. Um, well, according to science, spending time with your bros is another good way to reduce stress. Oh, I guess I'll call my bros and invite them next time. Hi guys, Trace and Crystal here for D News. Our lives are stressful, and they are getting more stressful every day. And science tells us the best way to de-stress isn't by going to the spa, but by making more friends. Yes, assuming your friendships are drama-free, science has shown that it's not just our perception of stress, but our actual physiological responses that can be diminished by strong social bonds. Meaning, taking time out of our stressful lives to spend quality time with our friends actually helps us be less stressed. Maybe you've heard of the tend and befriend behavior. It's the instinct to protect your offspring and connect with your social group in response response to a threat. It's mostly considered a female behavior, and since it's a lady thing, studies usually examine the stress-reducing effects of romantic pair bonds, so parent-child relationships or, you know, male-female relationships, and the importance of girls' girlfriends. But what about broing down, broing out, broing left? <sighs> The stress-reducing properties of bonds between males has also been studied. For example, in one study, researchers have shown male-male social bonds similar to human friendships help buffer male Barbary macaque monkeys against day-to-day -day stress. We measure stress in animals that can't verbally communicate by measuring the amount of stress-related hormone metabolite in their waist. Specifically, by examining fecal glucocorticoid levels. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your goats. Some graduate student out there is doing biochemistry on monkey poop for their PhD? Yep. Wow, academia. <laughs> They're sifting through the poop looking for evidence of stress hormones like cortisol. Cortisol belongs to a group of steroid hormones called glucocorticoids, and these steroids are elevated in our bloodstream during times of stress. Glucocorticoid molecules have all sorts of positive functions in our bodies. Long-term elevation, though, can increase our susceptibility to disease and, well, death. The study shows that keeping a few close buddies will help me avoid that. Previously, males were not thought to form nurturing social bonds with same-sex members of a group, possibly due to fierce competition for a female companionship. So the realization that tend and befriend behavior in these monkeys extends to male-male relationships is exciting. I mean, it makes sense if you think about it. There are very few deep betrayals that are worse than being cock-blocked by your buddy at the bar. But it seems like hierarchical social structure didn't affect the ability to form rewarding friendships, meaning that more powerful males didn't seem to have stronger or weaker friendships than any other male in the group. Dudes being dudes, no matter what their status, right? Right. Extrapolating from the study, no matter who you are, reaching out to your friends in times of stress can be rewarding and practical. I'm so glad we're friends, Trace. <laughs> I feel less stressed already. Do your bros keep you from stressing out? Leave your comments down below in the corner. Down be bro. You know, Frosty the bro man. Down there, Jennifer Bropez. No, Ooh. make make sure Ooh. you subscribe for more D News. Abraham Lincoln. Bro B1 Kenobi. Bro Peep. Little Bro Peep. Galileo. Bro. Nailed it. <laughs> I love that one. This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Prius. Let's lead the way.